morning. Welcome to our language teaching program being offered from Vijay Chetana PU College. This is the second lesson we are offering you from Vijay Chetana PU College language teaching program. In the last class, we started with active voice and passive voice. I hope you are familiar with this concept active voice and passive voice. Today, we will revise the concept. Let us recall what we discussed in the previous class and then we will try to learn the steps that we would take to transform from one form to another. How to transform active voice into passive voice? Usually, in high school classes, there will be transformation of questions, transformation of sentences. This is a very popular question in PU college. Here, we don't give isolated sentences, bit sentences. A contextualized paragraph will be given. Passive voice construction. You have to change active voice into passive voice. It means you are expected to fill in the blanks with appropriate passive construction. That we will take up at the end of this lesson. Today let us revise the previous lesson. In the last class, I explained what is voice, where do we use voice, why do we use this passive voice and how to change active voice into passive voice. In a nutshell, this is what voice means. If you are in a face-to-face -face context, I would have asked you this question. Come on, tell me, what do you mean by voice? Because we are meeting in a distance education mode online teaching program. I cannot get you the response from you. But still, I try to make you recall what voice is. Voice refers to verb. Voice refers to verb. How the action is expressed. In simpler terms, we can say voice refers to one and how that action is expressed. I told you, if the doer is very important, for example, Ravi builds a house. I have given several examples in the last class. Ravi builds a house. Here the focus is on the subject. Who builds the house? Ravi builds the house. So, the work shows the action of the subject. So, this is what is in active voice. This is active voice. Why? Because the work shows the action of the subject. Or, subject is the doer of the action. Doer is important. Doer is important. I told you already, language offers many choices as we would change the gates of a vehicle while riding. We also change the mode of expression depending upon who speaks to whom, where, when and how. So if I think doer is very important for me, I prefer active expression. I construct the sentence. I go for the sentence. Ravi builds the house. If the doer is not important, if I think what is done is important, I go for passive structure. You see how the passive structure is got from active structure. A house is 
built by the reed. The house is built by the reed. Here, subject is not the doer. Say a house. It is not the doer. Doer comes at the end. We also say the agent of action. So it comes at the end. Because this is not at all important. What is done is important. So a house is built. So this action is highlighted here. So when the action is highlighted, doer is not important. We call it passive voice. Passive construction, passive voice. The word is in passive voice, we say. Because voice refers to word. So now the word is in passive voice. So the word itself is self actuality It is passive because the doer is not active. Subject is not important. So voice is a sort of highlighting, it just highlights, highlighting technique, highlighting. These are very important words. It helps you to remember the concepts of the Voice is a highlighting technique, focusing technique, focusing technique. You can ask me, sir, what is the difference between these expressions? Meaning-wise, there is no difference. Meaning-wise, there is no difference at all. Right? Now we build the house. The house is built. House is built. Meaning is same. But the focus is different. In the first sentence, the builder, the subject, doer, is highlighted. In the second expression, action is highlighted. So, this is the choice English language offers by expressing our thoughts. So, we will take up a few sentences and try to transform them into passive voice. Ravi builds a house. This is in present tense. I told you already, the tense doesn't change. If the active voice is in present tense, the passive voice is also in present tense. So, tense doesn't change. Let me take a few sentences and illustrate how those sentences are transformed into passive sentences. <coughs> you see here, India defeated Australia. So I have transformed these sentences. I am demonstrating to how to change active verb into passive verb. Active sentence into passive sentence. So when a sentence like this is given, what we have to do? First, identify the subject, identify the word and then object. Do your subject, action, word and then object. So this is active sentence. Why do you call it active sentence? India, see look at the focus. Sir. This is the doer. India defeated Australia. So doer of the action is the subject. So India is focused. India defeated. It is not any other country. It is India that defeated Australia. I want passive expression. How would I change this into passive sentence? So these are the steps. First, eh, subject is changed into object. Object is changed into subject. This is very simple transformation. We have been taught in high school classes how to change eh, an active sentence into passive sentence. Australia comes here. Everybody can change this. India, the subject comes again. Subject becomes object. Object becomes subject. That is the first step. First step. Second step. Subject becomes object. 
of that becomes subtract. Next step is identify the verb and the tense of the verb. What tense is it defeated is the verb because it was action, it was a verb. Verb is an action word. Defeated is an action. Defeated is a past tense. Defeat, defeated, defeated. Present tense, past tense, past participle. So for transformation, you must be familiar with this term. Tenses of all verbs. Present tense, past tense, and past participle. You must be acquainted with that uh, table, which is given even in your second piece of text or workbook table. So defeated is in past tense. If the verb is in past tense, in passive construction, we have to use a passive helping verb. You know, B verbs are very important in passive construction. So that is one of the identification. In the previous sentence, what was that sentence? Ravi builds a house. Right? In the previous sentence, a house is built by Ravi. So this is passive construction. How to identify passive construction? There is a B word and then past participle. In passive construction, we use B words. B words are am, is, are, which are used in present tense, was, and were. They are used in past tense, past helping words, present helping words, and then B. B and B. B is used with model auxiliaries. If active verb has got model, means special auxiliaries like will, would, shall, should, can, could, may, might, must. So if special verbs appear in a sentence, we use this B. If the sentence is in continuous form, in form, we use being as helping verb. If it is a perfect tense where have, has, and had appear, we use being. I take all types of sentences now. So, what I am trying to say is in passive construction, be or be is very important. So, here, this is past tense, defeated is past tense. So, we use past helping verb. This is used. Subject is singular. That's why I am using was. If it were plural, I would have used the verb. So depending upon the number of the subject, you have to choose between was and verb. So this is a must. For passive construction, be verb is a must. And the next thing is, it should be followed by past participle of the verb. Not present tense, not past tense, only past participle of the use. Defeat, defeated, defeated. Most of the words have the similar form in past tense and past participle form. Defeated. And then, see, Australia was defeated. We use a preposition by before this object. By is added. So this is an identification for passive construction. In passive sentence, and the good so the care, what about the end of the day? And the helping word on the way go. Helping word on the way out of the table in it. You have to do it. You have to plus the eight verbs. You have to do it. You have to do it. You have to do it. Passive construction again. A helping word on the way. Past possible verb of the way we go. Right? And then preposition, the object in the game, or the preposition is not to be. This is passive construction. So, you know how to change active into passive. In the past tense, the change model is the In the present tense, the present tense is the change model. The verb is in present tense. You know, 
Ravi builds a house. First example that day. You present tense there, builds a house. In this steps, you follow on. A house becomes the subject. The we, the doer becomes the object. First step, subject to object number called object to subject number called Next step, and the tense and the tense. Tense is verb and the verb. See the verb. If that is present tense, that is the present form of the verb. Present tense to the verb. Now, helping verbs are not used more because now do am, is, are not choose more do. Or do past tense to the verb. It is this way, defeated, not this way, past tense to the verb. This way, not choose more do. Helping verb by choose more do. Was, were. This way, not only one more part of the verb. And we have the perfect tense to the verb. And then you know, have, has, had. Present perfect. And the past perfect to the verb. आगा बी ना परफेक्ट टेंस ये बर्दित परफेक्ट टेंस ये बी ना यूज़ मार वो इन द लास्ट तो बी यूज़ मार दिया ली स्पेशल वर्ड्स में मॉडल एक्सप्लोरेशन बना दिया मॉडल्स के विथ मॉडल्स विथ मॉडल्स क्या वो मॉडल्स हो शेल शुड विल वुड कैन कुड मेक माइट मस्ट आ वर्ड्स तो बंदा आगा क्या वो बी य Next to inform from the ing. Inform with inform. This continuous tense we use being. Look at this table. These principles are very, very important. So, how to transform active sentence into passive sentence? If you remember these five, three steps. और मोस्ट ऑफ़ अगर ऐड बाय प्रिपोज़िशन है ऐड बॉडी सब्जेक्ट बिकम सब्जेक्ट ऑब्जेक्ट बिकम सब्जेक्ट टेंस इज़ आईडेंटिफाइड इफ़ द व्हाट बीज़ इन प्रेजेंट टेंस वी चूज़ वन ऑफ़ द हेल्पिंग वर्ब्स एम इज़ और अमंग दिस हेल्पिंग वर्ब्स इफ़ द व्हाट बीज़ इन पास्ट टेंस वी चूज़ � Perfect tense means have, has, had, we take been. If the word has got uh, special adjuries like will, would, shall, should, can, could, may, might, must, we use be as helping word. If it is in form, we use being form and transform it, the word into passive. Let us take one example and transform all active sentences into passive sentences. I will use all forms of active sentences, all tenses. Say, go on, writes, okay. Let's take a very simple example. I will take a very simple example to make you familiar with this concept, transformation. Yes. Gopal writes a letter. This is who writes a letter? Gopal. Active sentence. Because subject is the doer. Doer comes first. The first thing is to identify whether the word B is in active voice or passive voice. Check what I can check. He wonder what book. Our action held by day. Our subject action held by day. Subject important all day. अतो एक्शन मात्रा इम्पोर्टेंट है ना इलिट सब्जेक्ट इम्पोर्टेंट है क्या सब्जेक्ट है मतलब बंदे गोपाल राइट सेकेटर ठीक है ना तो गोपाल इम्पोर्टेंट है ना इट्स नॉट इम्पोर्टेंट व्हाट ही डस इज इम्पोर्टेंट गोपाल को क्या लग गोपाल येर मार दा ना मुख्य नहीं है एक्शन इम्पोर्टेंट है ना मार एक दिन बोलती है, how to change जब तक बोलती है, ठीक है? ये step सना apply मारे, ये active sentence ना passive करा, ये दो subject, this is verb, this is object, Gopal subject writes action verb 
letter is the object. Let us focus on the action, not do your narge, Gopal, so do your important alone. Gopal Madhya Kelsa, what is done, what he does is important. Ignore his interest about it. So object becomes subject. A letter, subject becomes object. Pitarata, chain money. Object becomes subject. Subject becomes object. Next thing is, subject to object to object, object subject. Next tense not only. He works. Rights. Right and rights. The values are present in so. Present in so. Wrote. Past in so. Read out somewhere. You recall the tense. Okay, but the perfect or the not down not away. Is that past principle? No. Return. Return is the past participle. If you don't know all these things, sir, you cannot transform active sentence to passive. Not a common idea. Is to put the better. You wonder what we get? Identify money. Or the out tense is the model not good. Ego the present tense. Present tense can help model of the word silly day. Am, is, or be verse. Ego have to go. A letter. Or, but you have to Okay. It is singular and the R is not the Am but you have to You can't use am because am comes only with I. Do but you have to have am but you have to have a dealer. Or but you have to have a dealer. So this is very important. Using the right form of B1. Appropriate B form. And then use more of the key. Use more of the appropriate B form. Next. Word be the past possible third form. Write, wrote, written. That is important. Then a passive Always passive construction is identified by B form and past possible. Passive construction is a sentence on the identified by helping word birthday, other past possible birthday. Next by preposition, the agent pakdali. Gopal, our agent, do you understand that? But the proportion by a thought, go. So a letter is written by Gopal. Now, this is passive construction. One, this is past tense. This is a sentence of past tense. Gopal wrote a letter. Same procedure. Divide the sentence into subject, verb, and object. Now, do you is not important for me? What is done is important. So I begin the sentence with a letter. Go all subject becomes object. Okay. Now see the tense. This is a very important task. Verb be is in past tense. Do past tense today. So when the verb be is in past tense, we should use only past helping word. Past tense indicator, yado, was and what we were spelling. Past tense indicate for the was. Singular is there than the was. In plural, it is there. We would have used verb. So, depending upon the number of the subject, in singular is there, singular verb, plural is there, plural is there. So, a letter was. So, placement of helping verb is over. Now, in past participle, he was in past participle, written. A letter was written by Gopal. So now, passive construction is ready. So now, we have changed past verb into passive construction. Only past tense has changed by that too. Next, the other thing. Perfect tense has changed by though. Has a perfect sense of that? Gopal has written. But perfect tense here we tell that has have had the letter. Has have helping words bandre. Ado present perfect. Had bandre the past perfect. Gopal has written a letter. Same steps. Again, identify the sub subject, word, and then object. Change subject into object, object into subject. A letter. 
subject group all becomes object. Now identify the worker. Who has returned the data? Hope all has returned. The sentence is an active voice. Now, action is given importance in passive construction, not Gopal. Gopal Mukhyala. Gopal Amharida. Action. Kelsa. So, in later, now, present tense, past tense, we have already done. So, for present perfect tense, it is very easy. It is easy because past participle is already present. Now, half by time, the past participle is already present. What we have to do now, Madakels are very, very simple. B is added. What do you think? Be forms the link. Perfect is Bandhaga. B add body. We got a letter. Has. It remains as it is. Has. Has. I cannot count it. We add B. Perfect is get B in the note. B formula add body. Past principle hangi. Return. By. Gopal. Passive construction is ready. A letter has been written by Gopal. Similarly, Gopal, no, I'm just talking about how about it? How about it? Gopal has written letters. Very plural. E sentence I have written. Gopal has written letters. Letters. He has written letters. How about it? In the plural, you know how. Present tense is there. Tense is same. But what about the matter now? How is the change matter? Now, be. Be in add barbecue. Return. By. Go for. Letters have been written by Go for. So, how about the argument? Now, be says to me. It has how ago given. That how you did it. If the subject plural will be added, present perfect will be added, have will not be added. Past perfect will be added, had will be added. Gopal had written, have written. See, I have taken the same example just to demonstrate what changes are going to take this. To make it explanation very easier to understand, I have taken the same example I am demonstrating how the passive verb undergoes a change. So, they are sentences that they act matter in the way. They are sentences present tense in the way high change are there. Past tense are high change are there. Next, present perfect tense in the way change are there. He got past perfect tense that way. Go call, had written a letter. Same procedure. Subject, object are going to be there. Object, subject are going to be there. Had written, past perfect tense will be there. He will be there about here. B in other says to me. Of the have burly, has burly, had burly. All the three, they show perfect tense. Has and have, they show present perfect tense. Had shows past perfect tense. That's the difference. So, a letter had been written by Gopal. Gopal. Had been written with the passive structure. Okay? Now. So perfect tense is over. Now let us take in form continuous tense that are continuous tense, present continuous tense. Go on. One, two, past tense, three, this is four, this is five, this is six. Continuous tense for the go all is writing a letter. Look at this. He is writing a letter. Active construction because do your comes first. Do your first one today. So, so active sentence. Passive sentence for the hage. Same five steps of putting he gave. He notes hage in the nanake. I did change it because that's very important. So, this is like your logger the big table with hage. We shall make use of this table. A letter, Gopal becomes object, 
This is continuous, present continuous. Hurry. He is writing present continuous. Was writing. He is right. Or the past continuous. That is the difference. Okay. He is writing. Yesterday at this time I was writing a letter. Yesterday at this time. Then I used to get a letter. Now I am writing a letter. This present action. Present continuous. Past continuous. Difference in it. B word to different. I indicate so he is going to the project is kept, post is kept, was going to be there. Now, we don't need this B word, B word, how do you score them out? The letter is being, we add being, being at the help of the add one. As with the instruction model, of course, correct? We use B and writing is changed into written, writing at the written at the bottom, written by the post. Very important. How to change present continuous form into active voice? In the present continuous form, take out, take out, inform it. Inform it that action is going on. A letter is being written by Bhupal. So, he being added by the way, very important, he will inform the change of the code. Main word will be inform the change of the code, or the past principle of the code. Now, this is passive construction. A letter is being written by Bhupal. Next, last special words with a can, could, will, would, shall, should, may, might, must. Remember these five, eight, nine words. You can think of that special adjuries. Or model adjuries. You can do that. Hang it. Active voice. So change out there. Go Paul. I will do it. Will. Example. Go Paul. Will. Write a letter. Go Paul. Will. Write a letter. 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 Same procedure. Procedure. Steps same, subject, object, object, subject changes, same. Okay, letter, go for, just to make this recollect, remember, we, are, we change first subject into object, object into subject. If we cannot get on either, what they are saying, you are going to go. If you have a mother, letter, Letter na first subject na mari go call na object na mari first act kari ki meindre to make you remember this concept. Kotaan mele hoonde sari bharpa na bolo hi vitar paraya bai ka gila. A letter in your will write special act will work bandha ga. He will write a B says bai go. It remains as it is. It never changes. Model act will really change ala jala. Hage retain mark kore ko. Adar bhad ye B says bai go. B will help him work. As soon as section was going to add part of it now. O B. Again, write becomes written. Will be written by the ball. Now it is read. Look at this. So, model activities, you will lay out Bandru Saha Itara. Special activities, first Bandarate. Past possible Bandarate. Adra Madhye. Now B says to me. So, this is. In a nutshell, how to transform passive structures into active structures into passive structures. Is to go to the passive structures and easy and complicated part of the road. I want to draw your attention to the workbook. Workbook, page 20. Page 20, I hope if you have workbooks, you can open page number 20. And you can see the exercises given there. The first sentence is done here. First sentence. Eh? I'll read out the sentence. If you have workbooks, eh? you can open the book at page 20 and see. This house was built last year. You can take down these sentences and remove these sentences. Eh? 
in your workbook. Some of the sentences have been given. You go through these sentences, or to to try to identify whether the sentence is in active voice or passive voice. The first sentence I do. This house was built last year. This house was built last year. Look at this. This is the sentence given in the workbook, the first sentence. What form of sentence is it? Is it in active voice or passive voice? Look at this. Was built. P word is given. Past participle is given. So, this sentence is in passive voice. Because do is not there. This house was built last year. Who built it? Who built it is not given. And that's not important for us. This house was built. What is done? The house was built last year. So this is passive construction. And the second sentence given in the workbook. First, they have given two passive sentences to make you familiar with the passive structure. Passive structure has given the third sentence. The dates of summer vacation, summer vacation have been announced. Have been announced. The dates of summer vacation have been announced. Look at this. Have been announced. Can you tell us what voice is it? This is passive. What about this? Sir? The dates of summer vacation. Do here is not there. Only what is done is given. Have been announced. Look at this. Have been. We follow. I pass part of the So action is highlighted. What is done? Summer holidays have been announced. This is perfect tense. Perfect verb is there. How? Have is followed by B and then past participle passive structure. So, two examples are given at the beginning just to make you understand what passive voice is. And then a few more examples are given there. In the next class, I would like to draw your attention to this exercise and uh, Keep these workbooks ready by your side. When I ask you to open the book, open the book and read those sentences. And let us see what type of questions will be asked in the test or examination. How this is tested? Now you know what is passive, why passive is used, where passive is used, or how to change. Passive into active into passive. What is passive? What is voice? He is not to Why do we use passive? He is known. Where do we use passive? We know. Next, uh, how to change from active form into active into passive. So all these concepts are known to you. What is voice? Voice refers to what? Is a way of expression. What is active voice? Doer is important. If the doer is important, that is active voice. What is done is important. What is done is important. That is passive voice. Just stop. If anyone asks you, do you know voice? What is active voice? What is passive voice? You can easily say, 
Yes, y is refers to 1. If the doer of the action subject is very important, it's called active voice or the verb is in active voice. If the doer is not important, what is done is important, we say the verb is in passive voice. Next, why do we use passive voice? Why? What is the importance of this voice in English language? Usually, very often, frequently we use this passive construction in certain areas like uh, science. In the last class, I told you, usually in laboratory experiments, by demonstration or by giving reports, lab reports, we use passive voice. Why do we use passive voice? Why do we use passive voice there? The person is not important there. Who does experiment is not important there. What is done is important. That's why we use passive constructions. B forum and postpartum, right? A hard gloss test to be taken. Chemicals are taken. They are added. They are heated and gas is released. It is tested. You see, all these what what sorry passive form means be verb and past participle. So usually in science experiments or scientific studies we use passive constructions. That is where we use passive ones. Why it is it is only a highlighting technique. Why we say highlighting means focusing. Sometimes we want to focus the concept or the person. If I think the person is very important, I use active expression. If I think action is important, I use passive construction. So, for this question, why do we use passive? It is only a choice. So, there is no obligation or compulsion that we should use only this expression. It is left to you. It is your choice. If you think that person is important, you could choose active expression. If you think action is important for me, person is not important, you could use passive construction. So, it is your choice. So, both active and passive expressions are right. It is a choice offered to you. I am going to use Anukula. I am going to use active voice. I am going to use passive Next, how to change active voice to the passive voice? You can have a change mode of the do. Change mode of the do, someone will test the examination still, examiner will kill out the do. This is day to day life, you can change mode of the do. You can change mode of the do. You can change active voice and mode of the do. You can change passive voice and mode of the do. You can change mode of the do. Identify mode of active voice and passive voice. Right? We must be aware of our language expressions. Number language expressions are now monitor how to monitor our language performance. To make our language communication very effective, we should use appropriate expression at the appropriate situation, appropriate time. Effective communication, we have confusion in the world, we have active use mode, we active use mode. We have passive use mode, we passive use mode. If it happens, it comes only out of practice. You know, table hakkon, you know, table Day to day, communication hakkon, when you are exposed to language, learning, when you go on reading, then there is a rich exposure. English, Matanantha exposure, English reading habit, just in the it comes automatically. And where to use passive game? You know, in the newspapers, actually in newspapers, reports, Passive voice construction na use matter. Tere ke ali vishya mukhya, varadi mukhya, yar yar tarya na lo mukhya lo, right? So this is in short what passive voice is. Now questions. What type of questions will be asked in the examination? Adu ondo sample. Hai ke nahi? Test on mana hai ke? Study ro report mere. Passive construction. How far you have mastered this concept? This is a test model. See, here is an example. In my workbooks, page 21, 
ಒಂದು ಎಕ್ಸಸೈಸ್ ಇದೆ ಅದು ಸಿ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಹೌ ದ ಸ್ಟೂಡೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ಕ್ಯಾಶ್ ಪಿಕ್ನಿಕ್ bus left at 7:30 am the students dash the bracket warn the wa or n not to go near the falls breakfast dash sir on the bus they had lot of fun yeah this is a testing exercise given on page page 21 of your workbook go to that exercise let us try to answer this exercise the students dashed on a picnic to jog falls last week passive structures of use the students last week is given last week means is only past so we should use passive verb helping verb this is a passive structure students passive verb was and what we have two helping verbs sir students subject is plural so we use students verb take 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 to taken take present tense took past tense taken past principle so we have to use only past participle in the passive structure passive construction takes only past participle form the students were taken on a picnic to do falls next they again helping verb they were because subject is plural this is past form situation is context is past so they were asked what is given bracket ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಬರ್ಕ್ ಕೊಟ್ಟಿದೆ ಅದರ ಪಾಸ್ಟ್ ಪರ್ಸಿಪಲ್ ಹಾಕಬೇಕು they were asked to report at 7 am the driver singular subject ide was yake hatta idu namu passive structure adu help number maakbeku driver was instructed other past participle instructed the driver was instructed to drive cautiously the bus left at 7:30 am the students plural ide plural so past tense adu the were the students were warren in the bracket warren kotide other past people warren the students were warned not to go near the falls breakfast was singular subject sir sir kotti the bracket alli other past participle is sir 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 was served on the bus 
So this is how passive structure is tested. Testing exercise. In the examination, a context is given, three or four blanks are given. You have to supply appropriate B forum and past possible forum. In Hindi model sentence, subject to object, you can change more than that. That is all you can do. This sentence is subject to object, you can change more than that. But if you have to supply the blanks, you have to supply the blanks with the appropriate B1 and past possible. Okay. So this is in a nutshell for passive voices. So the remaining things we will discuss in the next class. Next class means uh, maybe in the face-to-face -face context. So we need some face-to-face -face contact, contact because exercise have to be done. If, if at all I want to get some feedback or if you want to get some support from the teacher, we need a face-to-face -face context. Then we can work out exercises and revise these concepts once again. So remember what we have done today. Again, I have revised the last lesson's concept, passive voice, what, why, where, and how. Make a notes and try to work out the examples given in your workbooks. So we'll be meeting in the next uh, online program and we shall discuss the remaining exercises. Thank you.